What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. We are yet again going to keep continuing trying to catch our first trout today on the fly. We're at Spring Creek in State College, Pennsylvania. I hate to admit it, but I stopped up the road and I was throwing the I was throwing the black and yellow Panther Martin before I got to this parking lot and I missed three and caught two. It was my second cast and I caught one. Like I'm already in love with it. So I'm gonna start here behind me. Um, I got a sucker spawn on and what I believe is a pheasant tail. And uh, we're gonna see if we can't catch something on the fly today. Oh my God, oh my God. Second cast, oh, oh my God. This is a big fish too. Come on. Come on. He's gonna let him play himself out. Oh, oh, he's kind of snagged him. That's why he's fighting so good. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Here we go. Hooks out. All right. I wanted to get the big camera out, but I feel bad. Oh, look at the size of that brown trout. Holy crap, guys. All right, there he goes. Oh my god. Oh my God. I can't believe that. I, I can't even like really consider it like a real catch because I kind of like snagged him on the belly. There's another one. Oh, no. Oh my God. This makes me feel like I, I almost know what I'm doing. This is amazing. I moved downstream just a little, little bit. Not a whole lot, but I think I'm gonna try the spinner through here. Just, uh, you know, keep changing it up. So, let's try the spinner. Ooh, I just missed one. All right, I am walking back to the truck at the moment. Uh, I fished my way down as far as I can, or as far as I wanted to walk down. Um, I missed a bunch. So I'm gonna go back up here. I wanna hit this little waterfall where I, I know I had one on earlier and I know I snagged that big one. So, I want to see if I can maybe redeem myself up here. And that's not going to happen. And it doesn't look like that's going to happen because there's someone fishing that hole. It's funny. They're standing right where I caught that big brown out of. Oh, don't fall, don't fall. All right, I just had a little lunch break, which consisted of a <clears throat> iced honey bun and a monster. And uh, I moved spots. This is the spot that I was driving by earlier. And I just, I seen a pull off. I, I seen a pull off, so I stopped and, uh, what was it, the second cast, I caught one. So, gonna do some more fishing here, I think, and uh, work our way upstream, I do believe. Okay, so this next clip has no audio, so I'm just gonna voice over it. 
So I'm standing on the bank. I cast it upstream at the fish. And miraculously, boom! Fish on! Whoa! Oh my god! There's a fish! Ah, oh my god! Oh wow! Wow! Look, he flies right into the net! Oh wow! He's so beautiful! Oh! He's gonna fall out! Oh, the hook came out! This fish actually did have really awesome colors. I'm not even gonna lie. So, yeah, sorry about the no audio, guys. Well, everybody, it is now going on 1 o'clock. I'm down here below Fisherman's Paradise. Um, I'm going to leave the spinning rod in the truck. And I'm going to try to just focus on the fly rod. So what I have on here, what I think they are anyway, is I think this is supposed to imitate a stone fly. And I know this is supposed to imitate a stone fly. So... Let's go down to the water real quick. I want to show you guys why I'm thinking stonefly right now. Hopefully they're here. They were upstream. Uh, I came down here and I turned a rock over and it was just loaded with, uh, like I said, what I think is stoneflies. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't see... Of course, I don't see any on this rock. I do see a caddis. Or, or what might have been a caddis shell at one point. All right, let's see. Oh God, that's cold. All right, go figure. Now I don't see any uh, stone flies. Okay, well, I promise you there were stone flies all over the one rock that I flipped. So that's why I'm trying to imitate anything that looks like a stone fly at this point. So, try this for a little bit. Well, I gotta say, I'm getting so frustrated with trying to learn fly fishing. If I'm not hung up on the bottom, I'm hung up in the trees. So, I'm, I'm gonna make a move. Uh, there's just a lot of people here. Um, but I know we're going to be staying at uh, <clears throat> the cabin tonight. So I'm going to start working my way that way. And there is two other Class A wild trout streams there. I have no idea uh, anything about them. Um... They're, they should only be like an hour away. So I'm going to stop, get some food. And, uh, and then we're going to head to the Piney Creek, I believe it's called. So I'll see you guys there. Alrighty, guys. Just pulled up to the creek. Uh, definitely smaller than what I thought it was going to be. But I definitely think that there's no reason we can't find some whew, trout in here. That's for sure. I think they're going to be of a smaller size. That's for sure. All right, new spot. This one's actually named... Piney Creek access. So, let's see if that helps at all. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Crazy. I hope you guys saw that.
All right. Well, we're getting somewhere with the fish now. Got our first bite. Man, there's one in there going nuts after it. There we go. Yeah. Oh no. Did he get away? I think so. I think he got out. Oh God. I ain't losing this. And I ain't afraid to get wet feet to not lose it. All right, what feet it is. Sure wore the waders. Oh God, it's so cold. Ha, ha, ha. Told you I wasn't losing it. I don't care if I have wet feet or not. All right, I care a little bit. Because they're cold now. Okay, <clears throat> you know you suck, or you're dealing with some very wet uh, wood and leaves when you put gas on the fire, and that don't even make it light. So, more gas, right? All right, I'm not messing around anymore. I need to dry these boots off. So boys, I'm going to sign off for tonight, uh, I think it's like 6.30, 7 o'clock, I'm just going to go crash, and uh, I'll see you guys in the morning, which would be the next video, so peace! <laughs>